Good day YouTube, uh, finally the last part of the event is available and since a lot of people have questions on how to finish those quests and uh, get this item which you can display in your hideout, I will answer the questions and help you out as much as I can. So if you haven't done the first part of the event, I will leave the link in the YouTube comment section of how to do it. It is literally a guide uh, step by step. Once you reach the end of it, you need to kill uh, either Skier Boys on uh, Customs or Peacekeeper Boys on Shoreline. And once you do it, you unlock a new quest line. So in my case, I've unlocked it from Skier. I had to do Radio, radio Club. I had to plant uh, Radio Repeaters on Woods as well as kill some Scavs. So regarding this quest, you go to Woods and you need to plant those three Repeaters in three places. All of them are around the biggest sniper rock on the woods. It's right next to the sawmill, right here. So the first place where you plant it is the um, paracord extraction, which used to exist. Now it doesn't anymore. You plant it right here in this area, um, next to a big box. Next area is right here, which is on top of the mountain. There is uh, a toolbox and a technical supply crate. This is the area from which you can drop down um to loot to loot the jeweler jewelry right there so uh basically there is a big box in here and this is where you plan the second uh marker and the third one is right next to the bunker so whenever you go up the sniper rock to kill the sniper scaff you know like there's a sniper scaff right here that one sniper scaff there is a bunker with a bit of jewelry so uh right before you enter this bunker on the right side there will be a big box big wooden box right here uh, and i've planted my marker behind it so this is the th third place for Peacekeeper, I don't remember the name of the quest, but for Peacekeeper you need to collect a laptop from Shoreline and it spawns in the new area, so basically you have to go in the new area and people were finding laptops inside the yellow buses. However, there is a couple of spawns, so you better walk around and see um, if you can find the laptop. So it's not necessarily here, it can be in a different place. Right after you finish those quests, you get a quest from Fence, I believe which is called Ceasefire. It asks you to go to a village on Shoreline and find a letter. And this quest is a little bit problematic because whenever you go to Shoreline, you need to go to the to the village area. Um, and there's a lot of houses in the, in, the, in the village, right? So there's like what? Um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. There's like seven houses and I think majority of them can spawn the letter. So you better off going into the living areas of the houses with like beds, uh, kitchen, etc, etc. And you look for the dot in the middle of your screen. That will be an indicator that there is something next to you. And that's how I found my letter, just by pure, pure accident. So um, yeah, I wish we had all the screenshots with all the places, but I think there is so many of them that it's like close to close to impossible to list all of them. But you don't need to go, as far as I understood, you don't need to go into like little shacks, you know, like little shacks with some rubbish in it. It's literally the main house areas, which you need to check for the letter. Letter is really small, it's like a little, little white piece of paper. Extremely small, can be stuffed uh, in the sofa, can be stuffed uh, under the TV, etc, etc. So check all the houses on Shoreline in the village area <laughs> and best of luck. After you finish this quest, I think you get Ceasefire Part 2, where you need to go to customs and uh, kill targets while wearing Untar helmet, Untar armor, using an M4. It can be scavs. Um, I also killed Rishala. Rishala counted for that quest for me. I think PMCs should count as well. After Ceasefire Part 2, I think you get Trade Embargo where you need to sell items to the fence. It has to be butter items, so just buy them on the flea market and sell it back to him. And then you get... I got a, fa I got a quest from Skier that is called um, Atonement, where I had to kill five scavs on customs and then go to the three-story dorms roof area, like a little... well, not little, it's a huge balcony in the three-story dorms. Uh, then you finish this quest and you go back to fence and he gives you the quest called Redemption, where you need to help Skier make atonement, which is the quest we've done before. And then you need to locate and obtain Unheard's phone on customs and hand the phone over. That phone is located on customs in the dorms area. It's located on the balcony. Let me quickly get the map. So if you go to dorms area, 
this is the third story this is the balcony it is literally located around the edge of the balcony so there are some boxes here it can be under the box it can be right here in some uh, i don't know like dusty area here so check the balcony around the edges and you will find the phone it's a golden g phone so it's a bit it's a bit hard to miss and this is it more or less after finishing this quest you're gonna get mr kerman's cat galagrum as well as sacred amulet i think sacred amulet protects you from cultists for like seven raids or something um speaking of primes however if you fail this quest i think you can fail this quest like if you if you if you fail it Apparently you receive only Mr. Kerman's cat Galagrum and nothing else. So you don't receive XP, you don't receive additional wrap, and you don't receive the amulet. So whenever you do this quest, be careful and try try your best to survive. As soon as you finish this quest, you're also going to get an achievement in your Tarkov achievement screen. Depending on whose side you picked, Skiers or Peacekeeper, uh, you're going to get a different achievement. I got Local Strong Man. Complete the event by peeking the skiers side so that's what i've got uh, and yeah i'm streaming right now on twitch if you have any questions hop in the twitch chat ask the questions i will respond to them and thank you so much for watching this video give it a thumbs up and uh, share down in the comments below what kind uh, of quest are you on at the moment what stage of this event are you on and yep have a wonderful rest of your day ladies and gents